sending some love for you. Oh. We're saying on, on some kind of website, why were we getting a free house? We got we found out today what we're paying for it, and I can tell you it'll take more than him to get it out of me. Anyway, we hope you'll do a great job. Great to have you here, Dermot. My feet may This house in Kincashla in West Donegal isn't just an Irish home in the country, it's the home of country and Irish. Bought 11 years ago by singer Daniel O'Donnell and his wife, Magella. I saw it being built and Magella always admired it and it came up for sale. It seemed like it was meant for us to buy it, so we did. Now, I suppose it's time to give it a wee facelift. Daniel is probably home six weeks a year. I'm here an awful lot of the time on my own and I want to feel cosy and safe and comfortable when he's not here. I just thought, yeah, you know, if this is going to be our forever home for the rest of our lives, then I'd like to be in love with it more than I am now. I'm not sure I know what I'm letting myself in for, really, but really looking forward to the end product. Very impatient. I would love That's to be problem. here. I would love to be here. I would love to be here to see. I can't drive a nail, <laughs> but I know exactly where the nail should go. <laughs> I would it, just it would be a disaster if he was here. I'll tell you why. Because while everything is going on, I say, oh, do you see that now there? Why, that's like that. Why don't we put a door in there and put on another bathroom? And then it grows and it grows and it grows and it grows. So I'm kind of glad he's not going to be here because I can rein him in. Thankfully, Magella and Daniel have an architect well known for his ability to rein things in. Hello, Magella. Hi, Dermot. How are you? Good to see you again. And you. Very, very welcome. Dermot, how Daniel. are you doing? Welcome. Thank you very much. Did you have a good flight, yeah? I did. Good. So, yeah, we'll start off in here, Dermot, into the kitchen. And I have wow. to say... That is... Oh, I know it's at the end of the room, but that is some view, isn't it? It is beautiful. Every morning I get up, I do that. I want to lift the roof, almost. That's the feeling I want. Yeah. It's just... Lift up the roof and let the light in. This is the first room that you, everybody arrives into when yeah. they come to visit you. And this is actually a tight little corner Absolutely, here, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Almost feels kind of semi d ish doesn't it? Right. <laughs> you better be careful now not criticise our house. Too much, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't be here if there's no reason, would I? <laughs> As Dermot's about to find out, this isn't just Daniel and Magella's home, nice. it's also their castle. I like this, I like this room. And I'm glad you like something. <laughs> but that's nice thing there, like, that's old. Yeah. <laughs> It's just that, you know, the, the new brush doesn't sweep everything clean. If you take the fire away, you're dead. Yeah. 100% dead. You could move the fire. <laughs> okay, you can but move not it, take it away. But it's you can't take it away. I want to feel cosy. That's really, really important. Fire, open fire. I'm very kind of earthy person. I like getting out there in the garden. I have chickens, oh, you know. Is the chickens on, sorry. Yeah, there's they are, they are, they are. Foxes have to pass. No. Honest to God. Did not. Go away. He is. Sorry, guys. <laughs> How much do you want to spend on it? It's a hard job, isn't it? The budget would be between 150 and 200,000. 200 maximum. I hear you. We don't need more space. You know, the footprint is fine. You, you don't, But no. we want to... Make it work a bit better. That's my challenge. It's not to give them more spaces. It's not to give them a list, an endless list of rooms. They don't need any of that. They don't even want it. But they want the house to feel like it has a soul when they walk in the front door. With a lot of projects, people are looking for rooms, they're looking for spaces, they're looking for kind of physical, defined items. Daniel and Magella aren't. They're looking for the house to feel totally different. My role is to describe how this place feels. Back in King Cashla, two months into the build, the revised structure of Daniel and Magella's new home is taking shape. On the ground floor, the old kitchen, living room and sunroom have been unified with the removal of two internal supporting walls. Upstairs, the new mezzanine overlooks a dramatic double height space, soon to be flooded with light from a full height kitchen window. Oh my God. Welcome to... This is some change, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? Absolutely, I can't get over that window. Oh, look at the size of it. That is gigantic. 
That's like, wow. Actually, it's, it's not often that I'm, I'm shocked at the, like when you draw it up, it doesn't feel that big, but it's huge, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is huge. Absolutely. The, the overall look of it at the moment is just really exciting. It's a completely different house. It's like a new build, and it will be. You feel everywhere, every wall, floors, the windows, the... Woo! I can't wait. Hello. Hello, dear. Can I FaceTime you? Can't see him, though, because he's in bed. But he can see here. Yeah, he can see, you can see here. Time to brush his hair and sit up. Brush your hair and sit up, Dermot says. Daniel does a residency every year in Branson, Missouri. So he's there like for 15 shows in one place. Hi, Daniel. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna? Okay, I'll, I'll guide you around, right. The window. This is the massive big window that's going to light up um, our double height space. That's the roof light up there. See where it's a bit darker? I suppose what I've learned on this project is that this is not kind of show Daniel the plans. He goes off to America, the whole thing is built. He has been involved in every single part of the process. Every, from a different continent. The actual fireplace is off centre because of the built-in units. Yes, but in the, the room, it, it'll, it'll be in the centre. Yeah. So that distance One there, side. that yeah. distance there is equal. I feel sorry for him because he, lo he would love to be really stuck in here. So you excited yeah. about it? Yeah, this is me excited. <laughs> <laughs> After five months of construction, Daniel and Magella finally have the home they always wanted. This completely reconfigured house is all about light and space, from the full height windows to the vaulted ceilings above. Every vista faces up and out. Every room embraces a different view of the surrounding landscape. And yet at the heart of all this light and drama is a home filled with warmth and welcome, laid out with elegance and simplicity. Hello, sir. Welcome. <laughs> Not an arch in sight. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, Hi, Jenna. Dermot. How are you? I'm great, thank you. I'm great. Come on in, come on in. I, I can't even put into words how I feel about the house now. I actually feel extremely emotional. It's more than I could have wished for. I can't stop smiling. I'm in heaven. I can't believe this is my house. I just cannot believe it. It's everything we discussed and OI you have given me. And I am so grateful for that because it's not just a house. It's the whole mental thing as well yeah. that we talked about. And you absolutely nailed it on the head. It's, it's just the most wonderful feeling now when I walk in, I feel like I'm being wrapped in warmth and I, I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm delighted. I can't believe I live here. The big structural things that happened here was taking out that segment of floor and that brings in all the morning light. The no-brainer part of this project was just to clear away all the clutter and create one big majestic space that responded to that amazing landscape. And I said to you, I want to lift the roof off the house. Yeah. That was my word. We'll lift the roof. Blew out all that end. Absolutely. <laughs> you literally lifted the roof here. That one timber beam has managed to open up this space to breathe the life, to make the space into a lung, we needed to get the ceiling right up. And it's a bit of timber in the house, I snuck it in. You've given me the house that I wanted, but what I didn't expect was that you've given me a feeling that I can't, it's not tangible. And that's something that I, I didn't expect to get that much of a feeling. Oh, Just thank you so much. Everybody that did the smallest to the largest thing, it's been amazing and as I said, your talent is just, God bless it, because it's fantastic. Well, it's a gift to be able to do it. Mm. You know, it's not just somebody putting pen to paper, it's a gift. You ready, Dermot? I'm ready. And if I could, I'd build, build a wall around Elgin and go. And all the sounds to keep them out by God, I'd build it Sing all. See those chicken, chicken ranches, I'd legalise them all. We'd have our own Las Vegas in the hills of Donegal.